leader and composer Virginia Mayhew plays a Mark VI tenor saxophone from the mid 1950s. Growing up, saxophone was the first instrument she ever wanted to play. I started in the public elementary school. They asked us, you know, so I still remember that we filled out these little cards, what did we want to play? And I put saxophone first. And they passed out the instruments and they said, girls don't play saxophone, you're going to play clarinet. So that, that makes a great story. And uh, they worked out okay because I, clarinet is a very good basis for the saxophone. But by the time she finished high school, Virginia was playing the sax and had discovered jazz. I fell in love with it. As soon as I heard it, I didn't understand it per se. I just, I felt it, the rhythm, rhythm and the emotion. She's been part of New York's jazz scene since 1987, with appearances at Carnegie Hall, The Blue Note, and NPR. And she has six CDs as a leader. All this for a white woman playing a horn. It's not like it used to be when every gig, several people come up to me and say, I've never seen a female saxophone player. It still happens, but not as often. And it's much better than it was 25 years ago. Virginia Mayhew is part of why it's better. In 2012, she released Mary Lou Williams, The Next 100 Years. This critically acclaimed album is Virginia's tribute to the great piano player and composer. I had no idea the giant that she was. She mentored Monk and Bud Powell and Dizzy and people should know about her. 